the creative use of imagery and the imagination in meditation. So once we've become used to asking ourselves metaphorical questions such as if I'm water, what kind of water am I like? And tuning in to the underlying uh, mental state and well, quality of mind that is here through the image. Once you're used to that, then you can start to get a sense of being more specific about asking questions about what is here in particular terms. So let's say, for example, uh, the whole area of hand gestures is very interesting as symbolism. I mean, when I was young, and I think 18 or 19, I came across a, a temple in India that uh, was Buddhist and had lots of hand gestures on paintings and statues. And I was very, very struck by the, the message of the hand gestures. They spoke very directly to me. And I think that in some way, when one has a hand, an imagined hand gesture, it can also be very evocative and bring to mind uh, a clear sense of a quality of mind. So let's say, for example, uh, you, you sit down, you're meditating, and you bring to mind uh, your hands just resting on your legs, flat and open. And there's, there's, they're open, they're relaxed, and they're just sitting there. And in bringing that image to mind, you let the image speak to you. You let the image, as it were, evoke those qualities of openness, of calmness, settledness. And you, as those qualities come to mind, you come into those qualities. So that's an active way of using an image. But you could also use it in a, a more kind of receptive way where you ask, well, if there's a hand gesture, what's a hand gesture for how I'm like now? So it might be <laughs> very angry, uh, for example, or accusative, or so what? Uh, or come on, let's uh, work this out. Uh, and there's many different ways that in our minds, hand gestures can help us tune in to, to what's here. Uh, it's a similar sort of thing of asking a metaphor metaphorical question about water, if I'm water, what kind of water I might like. But, the, but here we're using hands. Now, in actually using hands to uh, get a sense of how we are, we, as I mentioned earlier, we can also use hands to point us in the direction of particular qualities which we'd like to become more aware of and uh, engage with. You could even say to develop or allow to develop. So a, a very interesting example of that, I think, is uh, the gesture of generosity. And we, in our own way, can have lots of different approaches to uh, feeling generous. There are different aspects to generosity. Some are just uh, uninhibited giving with no strings attached. Some are giving support, some are giving kindness, some are giving clarity. And they're all different. They're all generosity, but they all have a different feeling. And these different qualities of generosity can be evoked by bringing to mind uh, gestures or mudra. So, an interesting way of doing this is to, uh, once you're already quite calm and settled in your meditation, is to ask yourself the question, who do I need to be more generous to? So who do I need to be more generous to? 
So this is not who needs me to be more generous. It's actually looking at your own mind and getting a sense of who do you need to be more generous for. And this, whoever uh, comes to mind straight away, you then ask a, a, a metaphorical question in terms of your hands. You can just ask, for example, what gesture would express generosity to this person? And uh, it might be a combination of things. It might be something sort of settled and ch challenging, for example. <laughs> it might be soothing, but at the same time courageous. And you allow the imagery to speak to you and to give you access to these usually quite subtle, finer states of mind and qualities which are usually not so perceived. So what is happening here is that an objective visual expression is giving you access to something which is much more ephemeral than nature or quality of mind. And in doing this, you can explore lots of things. What's my, who do I need to be kind to? Or more kind, or more caring, or uh, generally more supportive of. And what would that look like in terms of a hand gesture? So uh, I'm gonna leave it here for the moment. Uh, I wish you good practice. <laughs>